Po' Boy Special here. That's right, we got some secret squirrel stuff for you. What is it? Stay tuned and we'll let you know. There's been a lot of controversy and everything about the 32 Auto. So we're going to test this PPU ammunition. It's a jacketed hollow point, 71 grain. And we're going to put it to the test. You can see the hollow point here. And we're going to shoot it out of our little Caltech P32. So let's try this out and uh, see what kind of results we get. All right, here's our setup. We have our normal wet pack here. We have two bricks of wet pack and then a little bitty half of a two by four pine board and then two more wet packs and then our metal backstop. So we want to know, will this hollow point from a 32 auto go through the first two wet packs and expand then through this uh, board and then keep on going through two more wet packs and maybe into the backstop. That's See what we'll, if it dings. All right, that's what we're going to find out. And if you want to know, these are about three inches a piece. So there's 12 inches of total plus the little pine board. I'm wearing long socks. I'm being smart. <laughs> I'm already wearing my football gear. All right, we've added our four layers of denim as well. This is going to be from about five, maybe six feet away. So here we go. Let's see what it'll do. All right, let's check it out. There's our entrance and we remove nice big hole here. So obviously we have an entrance, hold on. Don't have anything on the backstop, so I don't think it made it to the backstop. So we're gonna go ahead and peel these layer by layer and see what we come up with. All right, we took down this side, take away the first brick and oh, wait a minute, we see something right there. We found the bullet right there. All right, there it is. No expansion whatsoever. None. The hollow point didn't even open. Didn't even do a thing. So we could still use that. There it is. No expansion. So Hold on, but I see a exit. Oh, look at that. Look at the back of the second brick. Look at the size of that hole. Oh, and there's a dip. And we have an indention in the wood. So what I'm thinking what happened is it, it went through the first wet pack, went then, through the second wet pack. And then it dented this and then it bounced back. And it bounced back. There you go. So it obviously got every bit of six inches, hit the board, and came back another three inches. So, and that's through four layers of denim but no zero expansion out of that. So, and it did go through paints. So what can you expect? At least six inches of penetration, hitting on something hard, and then coming back about two, maybe three inches. Three, through, exactly. Through four layers of denim. So there you go, that from a 32 auto, and you saw it here on the Po' Boy Special Channel. <laughs>